What's going on guys, Josh here back with another video and today I'm going over my top five trigger foods and how to replace them, okay? So, as you guys know, back in 2016, I dieted down and I got in my absolute best shape. I got super, super lean. I dropped like 15 pounds. I was like at single digit body fat percentages, you know, like here are some pictures. I got shredded, but that came with a cost, okay? I got very, very hungry, okay? I was depriving my body, okay? And that's something that's not sustainable. So a lot of us strive to get super shredded, but a lot of times people don't understand that there's some downsides to getting that lean, you know? Because you're, brought, you're essentially depriving your body at that point, the hormone leptin starts to decrease and ghrelin starts to increase and these hormones are the ones that regulate hunger as your hormones are going all over the place your brain is telling your body to just eat everything in sight and that's when you start binging you start snacking and then you become essentially an endless pit and if you talk to any like physique competitor or bodybuilder they understand exactly what I'm talking about. So today I'm gonna go over the top five trigger foods that you should avoid when you're trying to diet down so you can avoid binging and what foods you should use to replace them, okay? So let's jump right to it, all right? So the first one is cereal, okay? So regardless if you're dieting or not, okay, I highly recommend that you avoid cereal, okay? Not to say that it's bad or anything, it's just way too easy to eat, okay? You can eat a lot of it, especially if you have a sweet tooth like me. You can eat, I can personally sit there and eat a whole box, especially when I'm dieting down, okay? So the leaner you get, the more hungry you're gonna get, especially if you go um, down to those lower body fat percentages, you'll start getting very hungry. So. Avoid cereal, okay? It's way too easy to eat, it doesn't fill you up, and it has a lot of calories, okay? You're better off, you're better off having protein pancakes or French toast, okay? So, a lot of people have a, a misconception when it comes to pancakes and French toast. You can actually make it very healthy and high in protein if you do it properly, and, and low calories too. So you can get like low calorie bread, and make it with egg whites. So just mix egg whites with cinnamon, a little bit of vanilla extract. You mix that in a bowl and you add some stevia to it instead of sugar. And then you dip some low calorie bread in there and then cook it on a griddle. Very easy. A much healthier option. It fills you up with a lot of protein and little calories, okay? So that's the key to fat loss. Eating foods that taste good, that are low in calories, and high in volume that fill you up, okay? So, right here, the second thing, something that would binge on all the time is rice cakes. I don't know why people think rice cakes are healthy. It's essentially just puffed rice with some sugar on it, and it's essentially candy, okay? You're essentially eating candy with rice cakes. It's just carbs and sugar, so, a lot of people think that it's a healthy food item. Me, personally, I was guilty of this. Back when I was dieting down, I used to think that rice cakes was, was somewhat filling and, and it, would, it would be something healthy for you to eat. But it's way too easy to eat a whole bag of rice cakes, okay? So don't get rice cakes. Preferably protein bars, okay? So a protein bar, it's much more chewy, okay? You, you can find protein bars that are actually crunchy and you're actually getting in protein. You're not just getting in carbs. And because they're more, more um, thick, you have to work harder to chew on them and it fills you up much better. A lot of people give protein bars a bad rap because they have a lot of bad ingredients. Look, for the most part, most people are making bad choices already, all right? So this, as far as the calories and the protein, it's much it's a much better option than having like a chocolate bar or rice cakes, you know? A lot a lot of times people mix rice cakes with 
almond butter, peanut butter, but if you think about it, that's just carbs and fat. It's like you might as well eat a Reese's cup, okay? Which is not healthy, it's just a bunch of calories. It's, you're essentially eating a chocolate bar, all right? So you're better off having protein bar, okay? Protein bars are not bad, okay? It's, you're much better off eating that than any kind of chocolate bar, all right? So the third thing is ice cream, okay? So I can eat a gallon or a pint of ice cream in one sitting, all right? Especially when I'm dieting down, I'm really, really hungry. You know, my stomach is an endless pit. <laughs> you don't want to have ice cream in your fridge, okay? Just take it out of your fridge. You don't need it, okay? You're better off having protein ice cream. Look, if you guys want me to make a video on how to make protein pancakes and French toast, protein ice cream, put a comment down below saying um, diet food or breakfast. Let me know in the comments and I'll teach you exactly how to make these recipes, all right? And even if you don't, I'll probably still make it, but still, let me know. Let me know if you actually wanna see how I prepare these foods, all right? So protein ice cream, super easy. Have some frozen fruit, okay? Whether it be, ban I, I like bananas. You can also mix in some berries and you have whey protein, okay? Whey protein, you want one to two scoops. So in a big blender, like a ninja blender, put in one banana and you can put like a cup of berries, then a lot of ice. You wanna fill it with ice, okay? That's the key. And a little bit of almond milk. So maybe two cups of ice, right? Two or, or two and a half cups of ice and maybe like one cup of almond milk. You blend that up in a blender and it becomes very thick, very thick like ice cream, right? And you pour that in a bowl and you just get a spoon and enjoy it, all right? It's much, much healthier. You're getting your fruits. You're, you can even add some frozen spinach in there. And you're getting your veggies. And depending on the protein powder that you get, you can make it taste really, really good, all right? Fourth thing, chips or anything that's salty, okay? It's super easy to overeat in chips. Like, I can sit there with a bag of Lay's of salt and vinegar chips and I can eat the whole bag in one sitting. It's just so, so addicting, all right? And it's so bad for you. It's super high in calories. It's gonna make you overweight if you overconsume them and you're binging on that at night, okay? Preferably, you wanna have popcorn, okay? So I recently um, got into popcorn lately just because I found out that there's it's actually pretty good for you. It has a lot of fiber. And if you get the low calorie popcorn or the low fat popcorn, it's essentially like 100 to 120 calories per bag. So you can have two bags and it's just 200 calories. As opposed to a bag of Lay's, you can have like 500, 600 calories in a bag, okay? So with just two bags of low calorie popcorn, you can have just 200 to 240 calories, which is nothing, and it'll fill you up, okay? so. Again, that's the key. Low calorie, high volume foods, all right? Now, lastly, gummy candy. Guys, I love gummy candy. Like I can, if you buy me a bag of sour, sour gummy worms, I'm gonna eat it all, okay? I'm gonna eat that bag in one sitting. Just once I have one, I can't stop, okay? So gummy candy is very dangerous, all right? And all of these foods, don't get me wrong, I still have them from time to time in moderation. Most of the time, I try to replace it with these foods just so I can stay on track of my goals. And the more serious I am in achieving my goals and in, in, in staying lean or getting even leaner than what I am now, I focus more on these foods. So, instead of gummy candy, you know, gummy candy, I usually eat it when I have a sweet tooth, okay? So how do you curve that sweet tooth? The best kind of fruits, in my opinion, are melons, berries, are melons and berries, right? Because melons, they're filled with water, right? So when you eat it, you're not getting in a lot of calories. It's mostly water, okay? So it'll fill you up with very little calories. You're not gonna get overweight from eating melons, all right? The same thing with berries. Berries are super high in fiber, especially blackberries. I think like 
half of the blackberry is made mostly from fiber so it'll fill you up it's good for your digestive system it has a lot of antioxidants okay so melons and berries are excellent fruits okay so if you still 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 want some kind of candy and you're serious about achieving a transformation okay hard candy okay hard candy is much better compared to gummy candy because gummy candy you chew it you swallow it and it's gone okay as opposed to hard candy you have to savor it in your mouth you have to wait for it to dissolve okay so it gives your your mind and your body time to actually curve that sweet tooth okay so hard candy as opposed to gummy candy don't have gummy candy gummy berries none of that preferably melons or berries or any fruit really any fruit these two are just the ones that are the most nutrient dense low calorie high volume fruits melons and berries also star fruit is really good um, but these are my personal favorite I like cantaloupe I like watermelon I like um, um, all, all of the melons essentially and hard candy guys but I hope this was helpful I hope it was insightful don't have these foods all right if you're looking to lose weight and you're struggling to get the weight off don't have these foods around your house okay stick to this right here okay I'm gonna make a video on protein pancakes French toast and protein ice cream okay but make wise choices okay you can still enjoy life still make food that tastes good to you while still making progress all right just keep that in mind that's the key having low calorie dense no low calorie dense foods that are high in volume that way you stay full you stretch out your stomach so your brain can tell your body to stop eating okay hope this was helpful guys if you enjoyed the video please give it a like and share with one person you know that will find this helpful if you're interested in coaching comment down below 30 pounds and i'll give you more information regarding my coaching program where I'll create a done for you meal plan, include all the foods that you enjoy and a customized workout program that you can do at home or in the gym. And you'll have full access and accountability from me to make sure that you stay focused on your goals throughout the 90, your 90 day journey and break through any roadblocks, right? Hope this is helpful guys and thanks for watching guys. Peace.